Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are jumping into another brand new topic which is of course chemical energetics. Right, so we're going to be seeing energy changes, okay? And of course, uh, this tutorial is brought to you by the O3 Schools Jam app. And when we are done with this uh, first, uh, with this class, we're going to uh, take questions from, from the app. The app is a CBT app, and your exam is a Jam CBT exam. So you need a good Jam CBT app, like the O3 Schools Jam app, to succeed in the Jam CBT exam, okay? I'm going to talk about the app later, but for now, you need to get that app, and you need to what uh, activate the app. All right, so instead of you going to get four past questions, four different past questions for your English and your three other subjects, which will cost 6,000 naira at the time of speaking to you now, okay? You can easily just get the O3 School Jump app, which has all the past questions for all the subjects, and it goes for just 3,000 naira. And it has very, very more wonderful features. There's a textbook inside. In fact, I'm going to talk about the app later so, so that we do not waste too much time. Let's talk about what our uh, chemical energetics. So, chemical energetics we're going to introduce the class in this episode and then we'll continue very well in the ensuing episodes okay so uh, please do not forget to like this video liking this video will make other students to easily find this video but i do not forget also to subscribe to this channel because when you subscribe you are going to get notification from us whenever we release a new video and what's more important is that um notification uh, subscribing to the world to the notification and subscribing to the channel is completely very free it's free i'm not paying to do it so just click on that red subscribe button below this video and of course that is all if you have done that before thank you all right now let's continue with chemical energetics we know what energy is isn't it yes we have seen you have heard that is the simplest it is the simplest definition you ever hear in what when it comes to chemistry okay even in physics okay so we say energy is the capacity or the ability to do work okay energy is the ability or the capacity we say energy is the capacity or the ability to do work okay so that is a simple definition of what of energy and the very important thing is that energy has different forms energy has so many different forms okay let's look at some of the forms of energy that we have uh, we have one example we have mechanical energy mechanical energy okay we have electrical energy okay we have chemical energy chemical energy we have light energy okay we have nuclear nuclear energy okay six we have gravitational energy okay seven now we have potential energy okay eight we have radiant energy okay nine we have sound energy okay all these are forms of what of energy okay i'll just be able to name just uh, eight here Okay, is it eight or nine? Okay, just able to name or just nine here, but there are so many other forms of energy. Like for example, we have hydro hydropower energy. Let me say I'll say 10. Hydropower, hydropower energy. Okay, also have geothermal energy. Okay, let me say geothermal energy. Okay, and so on and so forth. There are so many different forms of what of energy. Okay, as we have potential energy, which is energy due to what to a body what at rest. Also have motion energy. Okay, that we have wind. That put wind there. Okay, there's wind energy. Number twelve. There's wind energy. Okay, number thirteen. There's motion energy. Okay, so they are what different forms of what of energy, different from energy existing what in many, many different forms. Even apart from this, there are so many other forms of what energy that I know was stated here. All right, so it is important to know that what energy is what is a capacity or the ability to do work, and 
energy has what different forms. It has what so many different forms. And again, very importantly, like matter, energy can neither be what created nor destroyed. Okay, like matter, energy can neither be created nor destroyed. Okay, but can be converted from one form to the world to the other. All right, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be converted from one form to another. Okay, we can convert energy from what from one form was to another. All right, so but it cannot be what created nor destroyed. This very important that we know that. And now. It is good to we also understand uh, some terms in what uh, as contains what pertains to energy, like of course kilocalorie and what and joules. Okay, let us quickly look at that. What is kilocalorie? Kilocalorie is the amount or is the way the heat energy, is the heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Okay, kilocalorie, calorie is the heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Okay, so that is what the definition of, of what of kilo calorie, the amount of energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Okay, they also also have the joule. Okay, this is J for short. Okay, I will say joule is what is the energy, the energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius, okay? The, um, the energy required to, uh, to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius, all right? So that depends on what of joule. And it is very also important for you to note that all that one calorie, one calorie is cost over 4.18 joules, okay? One calorie is what 4.18 joules, which is approximately what 4.2 joules, okay? So it is very important to know that. So kilocalorie is the heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius, while joule is the energy required to raise the temperature of what one gram of water by one degree what Celsius. Okay, so that is that. And one calorie is what is 4.18 watt joules. Okay, that means 4.18 joules is what is what is the energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. Okay, so one calorie is what 4.2 joules, 4.2 joules or 4.18 joules. Okay, so now uh, soon because I talk about energy changes, and it's very important to know that during chemical reactions, let me put that down so that it becomes very clear for us to understand. During chemical reactions, energy changes occur. Okay, during chemical reaction, energy changes occur. That means old bonds are broken, new bonds are formed. Okay, so during chemical reaction, during chemical reactions, ma, old bonds. Okay, chemical changes occur. Chemical changes occur as reactants change to what to products, change to products, and vice versa. Okay, so during chemical reactions, all right. Chemical changes what occur. That means what old bonds are broken, new bonds what are formed as we change what reactant to what to product. So from A plus B you go to C plus D, for example. Okay, A plus B, they give us C plus D, for example. During, uh, during this process, we are changing or turning reactant to what to product, and eh? chemical changes what occur. Okay, as the reactant change to what to the product. Okay, and what happens as what these chemical changes occur? It results. It result to what to a difference in what in the energy contents of both the reactant and the product. Okay, resulting so you can say that what during a chemical reaction, chemical changes occur as reactant change to product and vice versa, resulting to a difference 
in what? In energy content. In energy content of the reactants and the products. Okay? So, during a chemical reaction, what we say what chemical changes occur. And of course, definitely chemical changes will occur because uh, old bonds will be broken, new bonds will be formed. Okay? Energy will be absorbed. Why? So, in some other ones, energy will be, able to be released. That's where we start talking about endothermic and exothermic reactions. I want to get there so there's no need to rush. Okay? This is just an introduction to what to the topic. Okay? So, during a chemical reaction, chemical changes occur as reactant change to what to product and vice versa, resulting to a difference in energy content of the what reactant and what and the products. Okay, so energy changes was occur during a chemical reaction. That is the vocal, that is most important thing to note here. That during a chemical reaction, energy changes what occur as we try to what change what reactant to what to product and vice versa. All right, so uh, and of course. Old bonds will be broken, new bonds will be, will be formed. In some cases, energy is what is absorbed. In some cases, energy is what is released. Okay, so that is what you should know here. And uh, in the next class, we are going to start looking at, at entropy. Uh, start looking at what at entropy. Okay, so before we get, get to what entropy, let us quickly take a question from the O2D Schools Jam app. Okay, I'm getting my app right now. And like I told you, the app is all you need to succeed in your exam. It's a CBT app, and your exam is a CBT exam, okay? It has all the past question for all the subjects. Aside that, okay, it has a classroom. That means there's a test book in the app, okay, that you can study lecture notes and what? Take tests according to the JAM syllabus, structured according to the JAM syllabus. So you can what? Take a study lecture, a lecture note, study a particular topic under the words a subject and then what you take tests, okay, for you to see that, to know whether you are prepared, whether you really understood what you read. Apart from that, questions are feature. Where can search for questions? It is good for you to be able to devour questions before the main exam. If you are not devouring questions, you are wasting your time. Okay? The goal is that after you have read, you are able to want to answer questions. Okay? You don't read and be unable to answer questions. You must be able to answer questions. Okay? You must have the capacity. You must have the ability. That's what I'm talking about energy. You must have the capacity to want to devour questions. So you go to the app, you search for question under a particular topic, and the question that have been said by Jam under that topic will come out for you to devour. Once you are able to devour, then you have confidence. Of course, you have the UTME challenge. This one is the best feature of the app because you need that competitiveness one, and of course, you need to be able to work to answer what questions. You need to be able to understand our Jam set question. That's other that UTME challenge, a challenge that will conduct for all students that are writing Jam for a particular year. Okay, you compete with your mates, you win prizes. Apart from winning prizes, right, you get used to our Jam set that question. Okay, you see your result released every week Saturday after the mock challenge. Okay, and of course, as you are doing this, you are building confidence towards the main exam. All right, so please do not sleep on the app. Download the app. Activation is just. 3,000 Naira, okay, to activate. After you download it, just click on activate and at the top you see buy activation key and after that, you can then quickly and easily what use any payment method or what to pay. You can transfer to the app account. You can use your debit card to pay online. It is completely safe. Nobody is, this, this, this nothing like scam here. Alright, it's completely safe. Use your debit card or what to pay online or you can use Google Pay. Alright, so anyone that seems good for you, you can do that. Now, let's quickly take the question because of time. All right, so this is a 2022 question number 29, and it says energy changes occur. Energy changes occur in a let's say a physical reaction. Okay, the question has been shown on your screen right now. Energy changes occur in a they say a a physical reaction, b a chemical reaction, c cool reaction, d hot reaction. Okay, and it's still it's still on the board. They say what well, during what chemical reactions? Okay, energy changes what occur, not chemical changes, energy changes, sorry, energy changes, energy changes what occur, not chemical changes, okay, energy changes what occur during what chemical reaction, as what, as reactant try to what turn to product, okay, I say old bonds will be broken, new bonds will be formed, okay, in some reaction, energy is absorbed, okay, why in some, that's so, that's when you have an endothermic reaction, why in some, Energy is what is released. That's what exothermic reaction. So I want to talk about all those in the ensuing what episode. So stick with us, learn with us, and what keep what learning. All right, and I will see you in the next class. Thank you for watching.